Time for your weekly dosage of Modcast goodness, kids. So prepare to be sliced and diced by your surgeon, Sunflower 4000, your organs farmed by Dr. Jam Slaver, and your prostate probed by Nurse Locke. Your doctors will see you now. I've been playing <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies. Everyone's been talking about yeah, this. What's the, this is the internet buzz game of this past week here. And it's it's deserved. It's uh, kind of, you know, Tower Defense doesn't exactly describe it well, but you you have five columns, five rows of uh, lawn. And, you know, once the zombies get to the end of the lawn, they're in your house. You don't want them to get in your house, so you have to plant these uh, plant things. Sunflowers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, this, you start with the sunflower. And the sunflower is one of the cheapest units, and all it does is generate more... Income, which is used as sunshine, more <laughs> revenue for you. What? What? Keep going. It's awesome already. Anyway, you plant some sunflowers, and the art style in this game is great too. It's it's very whimsical and cutesy, and I like it. It's very but, uh, gap. Yes, that's it's a good uh, good descriptor. So, you plant these sunflowers; they generate sunshine, and you got to start thinking about which rows you want to place what on because the zombies come from different rows. And a lot of this is going to be you responding to what you see coming down that way. But the trick is, you can dig up your plants eventually and replace them with other ones, but you really don't want to do that unless you must. So there's this really cool mechanic in where you have to plan out how you're going to build your row so the zombies don't get to your plants and eat them. Or you, in the end. Um, I don't know, It's it's got this addictive quality to it that I can't really describe all that well. It just makes you keep wanting to continue playing because it's never a long, you know, 20-minute long level that's going to frustrate you if you don't win. It's always a quick five-minute level every time. Okay. Okay. I really can appreciate that. Uh, I've definitely aside from, the aside from the sunflowers, what other types of units do you have that you can put down? Uh, you've got uh, pea shooters, which shoot peas. You know, obviously, say. there's little freeze units to do that. You can plant a potato bomb, which takes a little bit of time to arm itself, but when it does, it'll blow up and take anything with it that's nearby. Uh, you have a cherry bomb, which are these grumpy-looking cherries that as soon as you put them down, they explode as well. Uh, you have what's called a walnut. <laughs> it's this enormous kind of walnut-looking thing. that lo- It looks so sad. You feel so bad for it, because it looks like vacant in its brain. <laughs> and when zombies... <laughs> see it, stop at it, they start eating it, and it just sits there and gets its head eaten while you, you know, continue to shoot your peas or whatever at it. So uh, there's a lot of really cute little units and they're they're done in the style of cards. You put them down as a card and they turn into what? whatever. Well, well, what? It's not no, it's not <laughs> like that. Don't get your hopes up. All I can say is this game is awesome, it's excellent, and it's gonna be my replacement for Peggle. Hmm. So, highly recommended. Uh, they Ten do bucks. have a demo out there. Try it. Seriously. You'll love it. Um, I was going to ask, are, I'm looking at a screenshot here, and I see the five rows. Is every level different, or how do, how do they change between each level? Well, so far, and I'm not nearly as far into this game as other people are, um, I hear that they have night levels, okay. which gives you no sunshine at all, but you only have a certain amount that you can plant, so you have to be really brainy about how you put that out. Um, okay. You get different types of zombies. One was a pole vaulter who vaulted over my walnut and upset me very much. Um, so, I've seen some differences. One with a traffic cone on its head that you had to knock off, and one with a bucket who pissed me off. I did get this plant that eats zombies whole, but while he's chewing, he's vulnerable. So, <laughs> I see a zombie dressed up the, in a football yeah. uniform. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to that <laughs> one. I'm sure it's not too far away, but I only got a couple play sessions uh, of that game. It just seems it was like awesome. the charm is there and the style is there, and I'm, I'm, I just it's bought great. a tower defense game. But this one is probably better. This zombie <laughs> is driving a Zamboni. That's awesome. <laughs> the, the, you'll see your Canadian nature. Don't you guys drive those to work? Yes. <laughs> how do you think we need to how put do you think ice down on this road? Icy roads? Make more ice. You have to make it nice ice. Exactly. So yeah, that's a uh, big thumbs up on Plants vs. Zombies. Huge. And use the last bit of my PayPal money, and I picked it up. I was like, fine. Yay. I'll pick it up, nine ninety nine. I can do a lot worse with 10 bucks. So picked it up, and it is good. It is the perfect... Um, it's weird. It's an anomaly. It's a game that should be piecemeal, but it makes you play for hours. 
Like you sink hours into this game because you're just like... That's called addictive. It's crazy, man. It's, ah, it's so simple. And the unlocking something after every level, whether it be a new a seed that you can plant, a, a new um, item that you can buy, or even <laughs> I just got the almanac, which I was like, oh, that's cool. Now I can kind of document all my stuff. Um, yeah, they've done it very well. PopCap knows how to make addictive games. And... This is good. This is very good. It's a very fun, um, cute, art, artsy. Well, not artsy, but I like the art style. Um, it's plants, man. Plants fight zombies. It's hilarious. Go out you and like get it. You like the learning disabled walnuts? <laughs> learning disabled, the walnut, man. It I like the up. walnuts and the tall nuts. They're cute. <laughs> I haven't got tall nuts yet, but the walnuts crack me up every time. <laughs> it's so funny. But uh, it's good. Go get it. Ten, vers- ten bucks for Plants vs. Zombies. It's a really fun. Uh, you'll get... Um, your money's worth for sure. I've done it. I've played it in three sittings, and I've, I think I've, it's kept me up till about four in the morning every time I've played it, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, check it out. 